Hi, children. Read what I have for you. The clock. Very good. The clock. Do you have a clock in the house? On the wall hangs a huge clock. Let's look at the clock I have for you. Now, there are a lot of things to learn from the clock. Okay? So, we are going to look at the clock. Here is a beautiful, can you see the clock? Now, when you look at this, this part is called the face of the clock. Do you have a face? Yes. Now, on the face of the clock, we have numbers. Yes? Let's, so, this is the face of the clock. Let's look at all the numbers in a clock. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Clock has twelve numbers. Yes? So you have the face of the clock, there are twelve numbers. Now you see two. The clock has two hands, one short hand one long hand. The short hand will tell us how many hours it keeps moving, then you know, oh, so many hours, three hours pass, one hour. The long hand will tell us minutes, five minutes, three minutes or eight minutes, whatever. So, the short hand tell us how many hours have the long will tell us how many minutes have passed. So, when we look at the clock, we have the face, 12 numbers and two hands. One short, one long hand. Okay? Now, next is we must, what we do at different part of the day, how we read the clock, now reading the time. The short hand is here on 3, the long hand is on 12. Then we say it is 3 o'clock. Reading, looking at the clock face, let us learn to read the time. What is the time the clock showing here? It's 3 o'clock. Okay? Now, so I'll show you different clock and we'll read the time. Remember, clock face. Numbers are they 12 and 2 hands. Okay. Here we go. Let's do a short exercise. Reading time. Looking at the clock. So you have a clock here. The face of the clock has 12 numbers. One short hand telling you what hour of the day. Long hand telling you how many minutes. Now, how do you read this as? You read this as 1 o'clock because the short hand points towards 1 and the 12, the long hand remaining at 12. Now, 1 o'clock. Now, when it becomes 2 o'clock, then this long hand, the minute hand would have gone once right round and it comes back here. In the meantime, the short hand the hour hand, how many hours? It will shift to two. Okay? So, now, what time of the day it is? How do you read? Two o'clock because the hour hand is on two. Very good. So, we read it as two o'clock. The hour hand is on two. So, we read it as two o'clock. Now, now what happened this? Minute hand goes from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 4 and it goes right round and comes and stays here. And then the hour hand shifts from 2 to 3. Now, how do you read the time as? We read the time as the hour hand is pointing towards 3. So, we say 3 o'clock. So, we read it as 3 o'clock. Good. Now the minute hand 
goes from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It comes back to 12 and the other hand shifts from 3 to 4. So we move it to 4. The other hand is pointing toward 4. What is the time now? We will read it as, we will read this as 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Yes? Good. The our hand is on 4. So we read it as 4 o'clock. Now the minute hand goes from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and comes back and rests on 12 and the hour hand shifts from 4 to 5. Now what is the time? Look, it is pointing, the hour hand is on 5, pointing towards 5 and the minute hand stays at 12. We read it as 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Good. Now the minute hand the long hand goes from 1 to 2 to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and it goes on and comes back to 12. The other hand from 5, it shifts to 6. Now how do we read the time? The hour hand is on 6 and the minute hand is on 12. Look at the position of the clock. Look. We read it as 6 o'clock, 5. The hour hand is pointing towards 6. 6 o'clock. Good. We are learning to read the time. Now the hour hand stays at 6 in time. The minute hand goes from 1 to 2 to 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and it comes back to 12 and the hour hand shifts from 6 to 7. Look at the position. The hour hand is on 7. What is the time now? The time is, we read it as 7 o'clock. The hour hand pointing towards 7. The minute hand stays at 12. Now, the minute hand goes again from 1 to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It comes back to 12 and the hour hand from 7 it shifts to 8. Now look at the position. The hour hand is on 8 and the minute hand is on 12. How do you read the time? What time is it? You read it as. 8 o'clock. The hour hand is on 8. You read it as 8 o'clock. Good. Now the minute hand goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It comes back to 12. The hour hand shifts from 8 to 9. Look at the position of the clock. What is the time of the day? What is the time now? How do you read the time? You read it as 9 o'clock because the hour hand is on 9. The minute hand is on 12. We read 9 o'clock. How do you read? 9 o'clock. Now the minute hand goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, it comes back to 12. The hour hand shifts from 9 to 10. Now what is the time? How do you read this as? The hour hand is on 10. So we read it as 10 o'clock. What time? 10 o'clock. Good. Now the minute hand goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, it comes back to 12. The hour hand from 10, it shifts to 11. The hour hand is on 11. The minute hand is on 12. How do we read this time? We read it as 
Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. How do you read? Eleven o'clock. Good. Now the minute hand goes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and it comes back to twelve. The hour hand from eleven it shifts to twelve. So both the hands are now pointing toward twelve o'clock. How do you read this time? What time is this? You read it as twelve o'clock. The hour hand is on twelve. Minute hand is on twelve. Twelve o'clock. Now, do you know how to read the time on the clock face? Good.